skin. I got it, you got it. From the fairest to the deepest and everything in between, there are endless skin tones and colors out there. But why is that exactly? Why does skin color differ from person to person? In short, it's because of evolution. The end. See you guys next time. Just kidding. There's a lot to dig into here. So let's start off with how skin gets its color in the first place. Skin color is determined by melanin. By the way, melanin also determines the hair and eye color. But we'll save those for another day. Melanin has been on Earth for more than a billion years. We all have cells in us called melanocytes, which are responsible for producing the melanin that accounts for our coloring. Melanocytes can produce eumelanin, which is responsible for black and brown tones. There's also pheomelanin, which is responsible for red and yellow tones. Each of us has our own special cocktail of melanin. Your unique mix of the types of amounts of melanin in your epidermis, the top layers of the skin, is what gives you your skin color. That still leaves the why. Why do we have melanin? And why do our melanin blends vary from person to person? Well, melanin is the original sunscreen. In the scope of human history and evolution, sunscreen is pretty much brand new. Over the millennia, before we had zinc oxide creams and lotions, humans had to evolve to have a natural defense against the damage that sunlight can cause. UV light has the ability not to just burn our skin, but to actually damage the DNA. Without proper protection, that leads to melanoma also known as skin cancer. Because we needed to build a natural defense against the onslaught of sunlight, over time, we evolved to have an increased capacity to produce melanin, eumelanin in particular. More melanin means darker skin. Darker skin means a much greater built-in protection against UV cellular damage and skin cancer. Although, nowadays, we all need the extra protection that sunscreen provides, regardless of skin tone. RIP ozone layer. This is why, closest to the equator, native peoples tend to have the deepest skin tones. UV intensity is the highest around the equatorial band, and we therefore needed to build the most protection, the most melanin, to survive, passing on this genetic adaptation of deep skin to future generations. As you move away from the equator towards the poles, skin colors get lighter and lighter as the onslaught of UV rays decrease. Even though we had to evolve to protect ourselves from the sun, we also need the sun. UV rays are necessary for vitamin D synthesis in our bodies, which we need for proper absorption of other minerals in our diet, like iron, phosphorus, and zinc. Without adequate vitamin D, we're at a risk for fatigue at best and rickets at worst, which is a bone development disease. Scientists say that it's reasonable to conclude that at one point all humans had dark skin. It was only when humans started to migrate away from Sub-Saharan Africa to areas with less sun exposure that skin tones began to lighten. Lighter skin is more receptive to UV light, a disadvantage along the equator, where the Earth gets the most sunlight. An interesting exception is within the indigenous population closer to the poles. Despite migrating away from the equator, they retained deeper skin tones due to their diets being rich in vitamin D. They simply don't need it from the sun. Skin gets lighter and lighter as you move further and further away from the equator because we had to survive with far less UV light. That's also why we get paler in the winter. There's even less sunlight during that time of the year. So melanin production slows down to allow us to soak up the rays that we can. Some scientists estimate that since evolution, you know, takes a while, light skins only began to emerge as recently as 20,000 years ago. Considering that the Earth is about four and a half billion years old, 20,000 years is basically just a few days ago. Today, with human migration at its peak, we've had to adapt even further. Fair skins living in equatorial climates are at a greater risk for sunburns and skin cancer. Deeper skins living in areas that get little sunlight may not get adequate vitamin D. So, if you look like Edward Cullen and you live in Miami, you'll probably wind up needing your SPF 50 in bulk.